fat contents in food. Fats are basically the third most important uh, compositional macromolecules that we can uh, see in case of food. Uh, they are generally called as lipids as a broader class. And these lipids provide energy uh, to the body. Uh, they are condensed form of energy basically. And they also um, are the carriers of fat soluble vitamins that we need for the normal functioning of our um, human metabolism. They can be classified as fats in oil. They are called fats when they are basically solid at room temperature and they are oil when they are uh, liquid at a room temperature. Uh, in terms of chemistry, these are fatty acid esters. Uh, and these fatty acid esters are technically called as triglycerides, but they are also uh, they also carry other compounds like tocopherols, uh, phospholipids, uh, sterols, etc. Uh, when we talk about uh, fatty acids, like all the triglycerides, uh, they do come up with three fatty acids, and these fatty acids has got nutritional significance. They can be saturated fatty acids and um, unsaturated fatty acids, for example, the saturated fatty acids are more um, undesirable uh, fatty acids in terms of human health, whereas unsaturated fatty acids are considered to be uh, the good, um, good source of fatty acids. Similarly, there is another uh, classification uh, known as cis and trans configuration. Most of the amino acids are in the cis form. But the trans fatty acids are the ones which are not healthy and they are very much linked with the heart disease. So we would prefer the kind of uh, fats that have got lesser amount of trans fatty acids. And trans fatty acids are normally generated by hydrogenation process. Uh, some of the food might have inherently uh, inherent amount of some uh, small amount of trans fatty acids as well. Fatty acids are basically all um, even number compounds like 4 to 22, mostly they can, uh, they range from 4 to 22 carbon molecules within these fatty acids and they have got all different names like they can have uh, trivial names like butyric acid which is called as butanoic acid, uh, so these are all, the, the list goes on like caproic acid, caprylic acid, capric acid, lauric, maristic acid, palmitic acid. So these are all compositions. So whenever we look at different kinds of uh, fats or oils, they would have all these fatty acids together. And as I said that some of the fatty acids can be trans, but mostly they are cis form. So for example, here we say cis 9 octa decanoic acid. So we have got one, this is the trivial name is oleic acid. So there is one double bond at position 9 in the cis configuration. Similarly, it can be linoleic acid, which is a more unsaturated fatty acid having two double bonds at position 9 and 12. So this is how we actually uh, write these connotations of uh, fatty acid, like this is an 18 carbon molecule with uh, two double bonds, and this is the position uh, configuration like cis and cis, and they are at 9 and 12 um, carbon of the amino acid that these cis double bonds are present. So this is a normal way of writing uh, these uh, amino acids and we can have these uh, known as the, their trivial names or their uh, systematic names here. If we talk about the structure of triglyceride, as I said that they could be monounsaturated, monounsaturated fatty acid, like monounsaturated fatty acid would mean there is a single double bond. And if there are more than one double bond, they can be called as uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid. So more is the unsaturation, healthier are the food, um, oil, uh, they, they are considered to be more healthy. Uh, similarly, the, uh, the crystal structure of these molecules could have different forms, which is called as polymorphism. These forms are generally uh, classified as alpha, beta, and beta prime crystals. So it defines basically the physical appearance of these um, crystals. For example, we can have the granular um, fats which are do dominantly liked by most of the consumers. So these granular fats would have one type of uh, crystals or another type of crystal. So they are basically uh, the choice of uh, producer that what kind of crystal they want to produce in their product so that the final uh, product would have desirable physical attributes.
uh, processing of fats in oil, there are two kinds of processes called hydrogenation and interesterification. Hydrogenation is basically done to produce banaspati uh, ghee. Uh, during this hydrogenation process, we uh, add hydrogen molecule to the double bonds, as I said in the amino acids. So we add hydrogen gas to the uh, double bonds in the presence of a catalyst, mostly nickel. And we heat the uh, fats at the temperature of 150 to 180 degrees C. And we apply pressure like 10 atmospheric pressure is applied to produce the saturated fats like Vanaspati ghee that we have commercially available. This is an example where we have got unsaturated double bond. When there is a hydrogenation process, we add the hydrogen gas and that produces uh, a saturated fatty acid here. Uh, similarly, when there is a hydrogenation process, this could, there could be isomerization, so we can have different forms of uh, fatty acid, like this is called a cis configuration, where hydrogen bonds are on the same side. Unlike this configuration, we have got hydrogen bond on the opposite side, so this configuration is called as a trans fatty acid. So we would prefer not to have much trans fats in our food, because they are not healthy at all. And similarly, during the process of uh, Hydrogenation, there could be some other side reactions as well, like uh, double bond migration is possible. For example, uh, it, there is a uh, amino acid here, and this could be converted into a different uh, isomer. For example, this R bond is on the right side here, and it moves on the left uh, after hydrogenation here. So this is basically an isomer. So isomer is basically the same formula, but... Uh, the arrangement of the elements within that molecule, it could be different. For example, we have got R group here at the right and here at the left. Interesterification like hydrogenation is another similar process which is normally used to produce margarines uh, at preferably lower temperature. It normally can be achieved through temperature like less than 100 or 200 degrees C temperature and heating for a prolonged time. But there are other procedures where we try to have lower um, temperature and we add certain uh, compounds like sodium methoxide instead of hydrogen. So the, the sodium methoxide uh, at a particular condition would produce uh, kind of uh, fat products like margarine where we, have, where we actually change the composition or the positioning of fatty acid within the triglyceride molecules. So this is another similar process that is uh, that produces similar result as hydrogenation, but there are lesser formation of um, trans fatty acids. As I said, the trans fatty acids are not healthy. So if we have interesterification process, we can end up with final desirable product with less amount of trans fatty acids in them.